Hi, everybody. For those of you that already know me, I'm Seth Levine, and I'm the First Things Foundation's field worker here in Sierra Leone. And I've been in Sierra Leone for about a year now, but for the past three or four months, I've been spending a lot of time in either Freetown or the United States on medical leave, trying to resolve some issues with my leg. But I'm now back in Kainlao, and a lot has changed ever since I left. So this month, I have a lot of news to share. I have a lot of good news to share, and I have some bad news to share. And I have some news to share that I'm not even clear as to whether or not it's good or bad. But I want to introduce myself so that everybody knows who'll be working with our impresarios moving forward. So, Madani's Chicken Farm. I first met Madani within two weeks of me arriving in Kailau. He's one of Maximus's first impresarios that he found independently. And I'm very impressed with the man. He really understands how to take care of birds. He currently owns about 12 of his own, and they're some of the cleanest, healthiest animals that you'll find in the entire Kailau district. And he also has a lot of experience under his belt. He helped manage a hatchery in Freetown for three years, and he's also helped uh, start several local chicken coops here in the Kailau district. I was very hopeful upon returning back to Sierra Leone that we'd be able to begin the initial phases of achieving his final goal, which is for him to own and manage his own chicken farm here in Kailau. But after meeting with him two or three times, I quickly realized that that simply isn't the case. Uh, to be frank, this project was not very well planned, and that is not Madani's fault. That is me and Maximus's fault. We failed in this regard. Our initial estimate of roughly $3,500 for starting a chicken farm in the district of Kailau isn't realistic. Um, it's gonna cost far more than that. And the project had not been staged. Um, so originally we were just going to pay upfront the entire sum of how much it would cost to start a chicken farm and he would go and just basically do that. I don't think that that's a good idea. Um, and since I just inherited this project, there's gonna be a lot of reworking. To be clear, he's still an impresario. We still wanna work with him. He still wants to work with us, but for the next two or three months, I'm gonna to have to be working directly with him to figure out in what capacity FTF can help him as an impresario. And that's not very good news, but it's the news I have for everybody today. So, thank you. I'll see you guys next month.